What is going on guys? Welcome back to yet another episode of Martial Outdoors. Today, I am on a undisclosed body of water here in central Minnesota. It is now probably 18 below. I woke up this morning, uh, negative 22 below, real feel negative 33, it said. Not an ideal day to go fishing, but I haven't went fishing all week and I, I kind of wanted to get out of the house and uh, so I figured I'd come out and set the portable up and try to get on some crappies. I'm going to do something I have not done yet on this channel and pretty much every YouTuber that fishes has done and that's going to be a uh, good old fashioned catch and cook. So I'm sure you can tell by the title, we're catching and we're hopefully cooking. But I'm already freezing, my hands numb, literally just from being out here for, I've been out here for two minutes and my hands are already numb. I can feel it in my mustache. It's cold. I'm gonna get the portable set up. Well, actually first, I'm gonna drill some holes, get the portable set up, and uh, hopefully, hopefully we can eat some fish because I'm hungry. guys I've been drilling holes like whew, like you wouldn't believe out here can't find them can't find the crappies anywhere but I did stumble on uh, a huge and I'm talking huge school of sunnies I'm gonna go throw the chesty on I'm gonna go up there pound on those for a good 10 20 minutes and we'll get back to this uh, crappie search but till now I'm gonna go wreck some of these gills because they are they're hungry <sighs> Oh, great. Of course, I go grab the camera. There's not a fish in sight. I don't think it'll take long for them to come back. On. Some dig. Some dig there. There we go. Not the size I'm looking for. How many are down there though? Come on. All right. I thought maybe we could find a crop here too, or maybe a decent bluegill in here, but that is not the case. So we're gonna get back to the, get back to why we came out here. Go, go find some crappies. All right, guys. I have literally not turned the camera on in a while. It's been like an hour and a half. Let me tell you, I have drilled. I drilled some holes. Then I drilled some more. And then, oh yeah. Then I drilled even more. And literally have not caught a crappie yet. Only fish I have seen has been up at 16 feet. And those are the bluegills. But I am out here back on the edge of the basin, about 25. I think, I think I might be marking some crappies here. But there we go, crappies. We're on. We're on them. This one feels pretty small. Still, even though I'm in 25. All right, so my camera just died. I don't know what I got and what I didn't, but I just caught my first crappie of the day. Oh yeah, did I mention that I drilled probably 150 holes? See, it's ridiculous. We've caught one crappie and it wasn't big enough to eat, but hopefully we can get a couple more here and get all oh, that needs like, all that needs like five crappies to cook up. And we're gonna pop the portable up and just start cooking. All right, I just had these fish so, so loaded. It was ridiculous. I can't, it's so cold though, I can't get this GoPro to even work anymore. Worked for a little bit, but I did get one perfect 
eating crappie. But just like that, they're gone again. They're coming and going super fast. Might have found a few again. Oh yeah, instant. Stay down there guys. Let me just get a couple of you. That's all I need. Oh yeah, that's good. That's gonna be a decent little eater right there. A little nine incher. Let's see if I can get his buddies. That makes two. Two crappies for the catch and cook. Both of my camera can see me. I've been like straight running around like an animal lately. GoPros won't work. Big camera's the only thing that works. Everything's freezing up, including me. Reels, line, graph, everything. Froze, solid. Like it's crazy. Once again, I have moved only a few feet. And I'm right back on them. And this school seems a lot bigger. Holy buckets, they're chasing it. Holy buckets, that's a good one. Oh, there's a bunch of them down there. Is he gonna be big enough to eat? This is my question. Oh, yeah, he's gonna be big enough to eat. That is the perfect eating crappie right there. Try and get a couple more here. Then we're gonna get that portable set up, I think. Oh my gosh, it's just, it's just, My reel's falling apart, guys. Holy buckets. I mean, listen to it. It's dumb. Oh, yeah. That's a dandy right there, actually. Freaking good. Oh, my gosh. There's so many fish down there. Catch one more eater, and that'll be five eaters. And that's probably all I'm going to eat out here, but I might take five yeah. home. Get the fiance some uh, some fresh fish too. This is this is ridiculous. They are coming in. They are coming in clutch right now. There's so many down there. My reel is just oh, might be a good one. This one up a little faster because I already know just by the feeling of him. He's in my grease. And boom, that is five crappies for our catch and cook. And they're pretty much gone. So I'm just going to let them be gone. And uh, I'm going to set the portable up. Let's get that set up because I am freezing. The fish are frozen. This ain't good. Set the portable. Just like that. Like that. All right, we're gonna give the fishing a break for a little bit, and uh, we're gonna set up for a little catch and cook. So, move my rod. Put the rod down. I bring plates. Let's see what else we got? Obviously. You're gonna need a knife. So we got one of those. Got me a nice little handy dandy cutting board here. And we're gonna use this uh, this chair right here to cut them up. Let's see what else we got. Some ranch. If I got ranch, I wonder how I'm gonna cook these fish. You all ready? No. Everybody does this, trust me. They all do it because it's the best way to cook fish. Get real. Couple extra bags, some flour, and the grease. I am gonna throw a little grease in the pan. Get that warming up. Walk away these quick. <laughs> See me good. I haven't ate anything yet today, and I am starving. But 
I'm gonna flay these crappies quick. Let's get that done. Obviously, not gonna show you guys all that. Not close. YouTube don't like that kind of thing. And my crappies are kind of frozen right here. Let's get after it. Okay, so wasn't paying attention. I was just busy playing. Camera was absolutely fogged. That's all right. You guys don't need to see a bunch of boring fish cleaning anyway. But we got our five crappies here, all flayed up and almost ready here to go in the grease. If the grease is ready. What are you thinking? Where are you gonna wash them? Are you silly? We're sitting on a lake. All right, so we got our fish all nicely cleaned in the bag here. We are gonna just open up the red hot wing sass here. And I'm just gonna fill this bag up. Not fill this bag up, but just make sure all the fish are nice and covered. And uh, I like to let them soak in there for a little bit. I'm probably gonna let these fish soak for 10, 15 minutes in here. Might, you ain't catching fish in this hole now because when I wash these flays, I can't even see the bottom. But the grease is ready. These will be ready in about 10, 15 minutes. And uh, we'll let them soak in here. I usually like to pat them dry with a paper towel, but we're on the way. Gonna let them soak in there for about 10, 15 minutes, like I said. Clean my other stuff up, and we're gonna get these things in the grease. Why is the camera being so weird? I think while we wait, while we wait for the red hot to be, or the fish to be nice and soaked in the red hot, I'm gonna drop down. These are gonna take her. Oh, here we go. Instant. Instant. On. Instant. Instant. Oh my gosh. They are coming in thick down there. Duh. They're really coming in thick. What do we got? A little crappy. There's nothing better. Waiting for my waiting for my food to be cooked. Over here. Just hammering crappies about to eat some fresh crappies it not get much better than this keep these down here in the snow it's gonna leak oh toad just kidding it's not a toad but like i said i did keep five for myself to eat right now because i haven't ate anything yet today so five is gonna do me in just perfectly keep my other five to bring home for the fiance and the kid. Look at there. Dan, let's uh I don't know. I don't know where to put these. Just right in, right in the pile of the rest of them. Alright, we have arrived to the cooking part finally. Let me tell you, I am one hungry guy. So What we've got to put the fish in, is what I've got here is just a little bit of flour and a little bit of seasoning in there. I like to add a little bit of pepper, a little bit of uh, Tony Sashery's in there. All right, got the bag of Frank's wings sauce. And uh, we're just gonna get in there and grab a few of these. Get them in the flour. Get them all shook up. My, my mouth's water at this point. I'm so freaking hungry. I haven't eaten anything yet today. I'm kind of just waiting to eat some crappies, but it took me so dang long to even find some crappies. One thing I did forget that's a fork. Good job there, buddy. I think this first batch is done. 
I like to put them on a plate with a paper towel. Try some of that grease out of them. Look at that. <laughs> Talking. All right, quick before I eat these, I'm gonna drop some more in the grease, get them fired up, and uh, we'll do a little taste test for you guys. All right. Grab a, grab a plate here with my fish and red hot wing sauce. I like to use a little ranch just like I do with my wings. Just give me a little that on there. I'm so freaking hungry. I don't know if I said that, but I did. Yeah, I'm freaking starving. All right, let's just uh, let's get right in there. This is unreal. So I got that. Unreal. If you guys haven't tried this, uh red hot wing sauce recipe yet. You're really missing out. Boom. Sitting there trying to cook. I can't. Coffee just came in so freaking fast. What do we got? Dandy eater right there. Just sitting there trying to flip my fish. I look over. I'm like, what's this red line coming up so fast? Yeah. Freaking coming for your jig, man. We'll see. Maybe I can get my. I got three already on the ice. Maybe I can get my next two before my food's done. And then I can just eat and go home. Sounds like an awesome plan to me. Watch the dip, watch the dip. Boom. Crushed it. <laughs> Sick. This is just, this is too much fun. Too much fun right now. It's just, they're not stacked up anymore, but the ones that are uh, running solo, they're uh, a lot better fish. That makes number four. Using a little uh, Euro Tackle Drop X there today with a Sartreuse Y Fry on it. Oh my goodness. I was grabbing a new freaking piece. Mm, what do we got here? Little guy? Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Trying to grab a new piece of fish. This guy decides to come by and whack it. I didn't even see any fish down there. It's just a solo guy. Well, I think that's going to do it for me today. I'm stuffed. A lot of fish. Caught plenty of fish. I got four other keepers I'm going to take home, so that's nine that I kept today. But if you're going to do these catch and cooks, make sure one thing I mean, make sure you pick up everything. You, do, you, you, gotta, you gotta pick up all your stuff. People don't want to see fish laying all over the ice and garbage. That's, that's, that's a no no. So pick up your stuff and uh, it's fun. I don't know how many more catch and cooks I'll do. Probably not that many. A lot of them have been done. But this was my first. I figured I'd throw one on the channel. Let me know what you guys think. And hit that like button. Smash that subscribe button. Signing off. Until next time.